Here we are under the hood of a 99 Nissan Altima. 2.4 engine, 4 cylinder. Uh, the customer replaced the distributor, as you can see right here, in an attempt to fix some other things. Uh, one of the problems is that it has not been timed. So I'm here to go ahead and time it. Uh, one of the first things I did was go ahead and put a mark on the pulley, which I had to take off the wheel or take off the cover down here in the, in the wheel well. So I took the fender cover off. I turned the wheel as far as I could to the right and took the key out so it would lock into place. And then what I did was mark the wheel here on the uh, harmonic balancer. See these little cutouts? That's for the timing. Now the white one that I have marked, that is 20 degrees before top dead center. So, according to the emissions label here, if you look, 20 degrees before top dead center is what this is uh, supposed to be timed to. And it also gives you valve lash, just so that people know, and I could have sworn they had gaps for spark plug, but I'm not seeing that here. Interesting. As you can see, we have a new distributor. Uh, I have the timing light on number one spark wire, spark plug wire. And then what I'm going to do, if you look down in here, let me see. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that from here. I can barely see it. But there's a plastic cover and there is a little piece that sticks out. At that cover. And I'm going to try to focus you in on it. Can I get this thing brighter? I'll see through editing if I can go ahead and get that in the frame. But the little plastic piece is basically right there. And the pulley should, uh, the, the white mark on the pulley should line up to that when I have it in perfect time. So I'll turn off my light here. What I did was unplug the distributor here and pull the fuel pump fuse from underneath the dash uh, only because I wanted to verify where the timing mark was on the harmonic balancer. Lo and behold, I didn't see it, which is why I took off the fender cover and I used my white paint marker and got that. So I've reattached the connector here on the distributor and I gotta go under the dash, put the fuse back in there. Now you have to go one way or the other, twisting this to retard it or advance the timing. Right now, I forgot, I wanted to loosen them up just a smidge. That way I can go ahead and rotate this a little bit. I think he has it all the way advanced. On there for our lock washers. Called Napa, and she was trying to sell me six of them, and I said, "Is a port cylinder? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you sell me six? Right. And then she uh, finally uh, asked somebody to check. No, they don't care. It's there. What? Uh, the Napa. I'm gonna pull back again. Back because they're not. If Napa, now let me see. I want to make sure it's all clear. That looks good. And. Try that. Go ahead and start it up. Yeah, that starter is starting to go. You heard that? Did you hear the starter? 
Was it a starter? Yeah, right there. Or it didn't even spin the motor. So that was a bad starter. That right there. It's intermittent. The Bendix is not always popping okay. out the gear. Let's try it again. Stop. Oh, you know why? Hold on. No, you had it like that, yeah. Yeah, you had it all the way this way, all the way back. I mean, if you spin it, you do a little more, it's, it's going to turn over. Yeah. Hold it a little longer, babe. Yeah, hold it longer. like that babes. And my daughter holding that. Back under here. I just got done tweaking it just a bit more. Oh it's so close. Still a little too advanced. And you see that and I wish I don't know if I can even light it up. I see it with my eyes and I'm trying to get you to see what I see. That's all they break, just to the bottom of that pulley, to the right. You see it slightly stick out. And in editing, I'll go ahead and zoom that little piece so you guys can see it. I have it all the way bright. Now, do I? Yeah. That little nipple sticks out. It's really kind of I want to see if I can see it together. Ah, oh, there you go. See? And you can see it almost lined up. Now the little nipple that sticks out off the timing cover is still just to the right. So I still have to advance or uh, retard it just a bit more. Oh man. I gotta go help my customer again. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get you guys to see it. Right. Oops, moved it. Get you guys to see the little white mark. Now it's aligned. 
to nickel. Yeah, you can hold that there again. Just yeah, just like that basically. I mean a little up right there. Boom. And we're lined up with that uh, mark on the timing cover. So that's how you time a vehicle with a distributor. <laughs> Using the timing light. Alright folks, I hope this is helpful. I will save my customer over there working on his own stuff. <laughs>